హలో వ్యూవర్స్ అండ్ డాక్టర్ సుమా కన్సల్టెంట్ ఫర్టీ నైన్ ఫర్టిలిటీ సెంటర్ విజయవాడ హలో వ్యూవర్స్ అండ్ డాక్టర్ సుమా కన్సల్టెంట్ ఫర్టీ నైన్ ఫర్టిలిటీ సెంటర్ విజయవాడ లాట్ ఆఫ్ దెమ్ హ్యావ్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ ఫియర్ విత్ రిగార్డ్ టు ఐవీఎఫ్ దట్ ఐవీఎఫ్ ట్రీట్మెంట్ ఇన్వాల్వ్స్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ పెయిన్ఫుల్ ఇంజెక్షన్స్ ఇట్ ఇన్వాల్వ్స్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ ప్రొసీజర్స్ విచ్ కెన్ కాజ్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ పెయిన్ అండ్ ఇట్స్ అన్ ఇన్వేజివ్ ప్రొసీజర్ సో ఐఎమ్ హియర్ టు టెల్ యూ అబౌట్ హౌ సేఫ్ ఐవీఎఫ్ కెన్ బీ and uh, how easily you can go through an ivf uh, cycle so definitely ivf is not a simple easy procedure it it definitely takes a toll on uh, emotionally financially uh, physically as well but uh, definitely i would say that it's not as much painful as one would expect so basically what does ivf involve so ivf involves uh, stimulation of the females uh, ovaries wherein we give injections to stimulate the follicles to grow so in a na- normal cycle in a female only one follicle grows in a natural cycle but in ivf we want to overcome this and we want as many follicles to grow as possible so we usually give her high doses of injections so these injections are usually recombinant injections and uh, we uh, give them by a subcutaneous route and uh, previously we never had such recombinant injections and injections were pretty painful but these recombinant injections are very convenient to use they are something like an insulin injection which can be easily injected by the patient themselves and it's just like a sting of an ant so it doesn't cause that much pain but definitely the number of injections are like maybe two or three in a day and uh, it depends on the response that we get and it, it's always monitored with scans now after uh, around an average of 10 days of injections it could be less or more we usually have all the follicles ready and we subject the patient to an oocyte retrieval oocyte retrieval is a process which is done under anesthesia so the patient will not have any idea of what's happening so uh, the anesthetist will be there to put the patient through an anesthesia wherein the patient will not know what any pain at all and once the patient is out of the anesthesia the procedure is very simply done and within 2 3 hours the patient can walk around we usually discharge the patient by 4 to 6 hours after the procedure so it's a very simple procedure it is not at all invasive it just involves uh, picking up the follicular fluid through a needle and it is done transvaginally that is uh, with the help of a uh, ultrasound probe like how we do a scan we insert the ultrasound probe and it is attached to a needle which is uh, used to retrieve the follicular fluid so uh, it, the patient does not have to undergo a major surgery uh, we have no cuts on the body anywhere so it's absolutely a non invasive procedure once the oocytes are retrieved uh, we take the sample from the husband and uh, fertilization is done artificially in the lab now once the embryos are ready if the patient is ready for transfer in the same cycle the patient uh, has to undergo an embryo transfer embryo transfer is a process which does not even require anesthesia it's a very simple procedure wherein we just put back the embryos into the uterus and help in implantation so uh, this process requires extreme skill and if it is done with least a uh, pain to the patient and w- with the patient being extremely comfortable then it is best done and the success rate will be extremely good so after this embryo transfer within four, 13 or 15 days we ask the patient to come back for a, a blood test to know if she is pregnant or not so this is all about an ivf cycle uh, sometimes the transfer is not done in the same cycle we may subject the patient to an endometrial preparation cycle and then go ahead for the transfer so apart from the slight pain with those injections there is no way pain involved in this entire cycle definitely it has a toll on uh, the emotion and the stress that it adds on to the patient is definitely considerable because no uh, treatment can guarantee you a pregnancy and that itself is a very stressful factor but uh, i think there are a lot of ways that we can manage this stress and uh, now ivf has become extremely accessible affordable and if you know it's painless i'm i'm sure there'll be many more people opting to this wonderful procedure which can help you achieve your dream of parenthood thank you hello viewers i'm dr suma consultant 49 fertility center vijayawada the number of infertile couples are really increasing day by day and with the advent of artificial reproductive techniques and ivf many couples are able to realize their dream of parenthood so does always ivf result in multiple pregnancies so there is a common myth that whenever a patient has to undergo an ivf or an iui 
they may end up in having a multiple pregnancy in the form of twin twins or triplets now how far is this true so definitely when we do any form of artificial reproductive technique the chances of having a twin or a triplet pregnancy or a multiple pregnancy for that matter definitely increases this is because of various reasons whenever we do an iui we usually subject the patient to ovarian stimulation where we give her certain drugs which will stimulate the ovaries to produce follicles so because we are giving her some medications there is always a chance that she may produce more number of follicles than the normal one follicle that happens in a natural cycle so whenever there are more follicles more oocytes are released and when there are more oocytes released there is a chance of several oocytes getting fertilized at the same point of time which can result in a multiple pregnancy in a similar fashion when we talk about ivf the lady is subjected to ovarian stimulation where we retrieve many eggs and once the eggs are fertilized and embryos are formed we do an embryo transfer so while we do an embryo transfer we usually prefer transferring more than one embryo to increase the chances of a pregnancy because not all embryos are capable of a pregnancy only those embryos which are genetically normal and are of a good quality usually have the capacity to implant so usually whenever we are putting back embryos we put more than one embryo so when we put two embryos and both of them implant there is a chance of a twin pregnancy if we put three embryos and all three implant there is a chance of a triplet pregnancy so recently as per the art bill we have been restricted to two embryo transfers and now all of us are doing two embryo transfers but uh, all the research and all the articles have pointed towards single elective embryo transfer wherein transferring a single embryo which is a blastocyst that is a day five embryo gives the best success rate and the least complication of a multiple pregnancy so very often actually patients are excited about having a twin pregnancy because uh, they think that you know having two kids at the same time reduces their burden and uh, if they they can complete their family at one shot and uh, so many people just like the thought of having twins but uh, as a doctor for me i think uh, having a multiple pregnancy is definitely going to be a risk factor because uh, twin pregnancies are related with lot of complications like uh, having an abortion or uh, a placenta previa where the placenta is slightly lower down in the uterus um, which can lead to bleeding complications or a preterm labor or uh, hypertension in pregnancy and so on and so forth the chances of uh, admission to the icu of the newborn is extremely high with multiple pregnancy so considering all of this as a doctor who wants a safe uh, pregnancy and a healthy baby i think a singleton pregnancy gives uh, more outcome than a multiple pregnancy so definitely with any form of artificial reproductive technique the chances of having a twin or multiple pregnancy increases but uh, um, a, as a matter of choice if we want to restrict it definitely we can do it and i think that is the way forward thank you